DIY dumbbell rack. Ah! Most people look at a project like this and think it's way too difficult. Well, turns out it's really not that bad. If I can build one, so can you. Stick around, I'll show you how. First step, cuts. I cut my two by fours into four 30 inch pieces. Then I cut four 13 and a half inch pieces with 70 degree angles as shown in this photo. These will assemble to be the sides of the rack. I measure down six inches and then mark my 70 degree angle. This is where I attach my first 13 and a half inch shelf support piece. I don't need to mark anything else before fastening everything together. The lower shelf support piece basically sits on the ground. When they're done, they should look like mirror images of each other. Then, I cut a couple of 2x4s to 60 inches. This is the width of my rack. Since 10 to 50 pounds is the most common dumbbell set, I've measured out enough space for a set of that size. You can make yours bigger or smaller depending on your needs. If you wanna go much wider than this, I suggest putting an additional support in the middle. Next, I cut a couple more 2x4s to 54 inches. These are the supports that the 1x8s will both be resting on. I put them in the center of the shelf support piece. The last thing I do on day one is add the pocket screws. These 2x4s are going to be supporting a lot of weight. I want to make sure they're secure. Okay, so it's day number two. Day number one went pretty good. Um, had to call it quits because I ended up running out of daylight and it was starting to get kind of cold outside. I think after working for a few hours today, I should have it all the way or most of the way done. It's time to prep my one by sixes. I cut them to 60 inches. I hit them with the table router and then I sand them. For the 1x8s, I cut them to 57 inches, I drill pocket holes in two of them, and then I sand them. The 1x6s attach to the front. The bottom of each 1x6 should line up with the bottom of each shelf support piece. And just as I'm about to attach the one by eights. So I ran into a little bit of a snag. My two by fours that support the one by eights, they're actually about a half inch off. I forgot to take into account uh, angles and stuff. So I, I put them directly in the center and they need to be just, you know, slightly above center, whatever. I'm gonna fix it. It just uh, sets me back just a little bit. I go back and remove the 2x4s. And while they're off, I take the opportunity to put the pocket screws into the front 1x8 shelf pieces. Once those are in place, I put the 2x4s back and I just eyeball where they should go. You basically want to make sure each 2x4 supports both 1x8 pieces that are resting on it.
Once these are back in, I'm ready to fasten in the 1x8s. All right, it's day number three. Uh, because I ran into a little bit of a snag yesterday, I didn't quite get as far as I wanted to before the sun went down, before it got too dark to work outside. And then unfortunately today it's raining. So I sort of pushed stuff off to the side. I made a little space so I can set this down with a little bit of cardboard underneath and stain it here in the garage. Should be able to get this knocked out in a couple hours. I make sure to sand out any rough spots before starting to stain. For this one, I'm using espresso wood stain. It has a nice, dark, rich brown color and really brings out the wood grain. I flip it over to get the underside. I'm only really worried about staining the areas that might be visible. I don't really need to stain everything. I let the stain dry for 24 hours. While that dries, I fire up my Glowforge and I start cutting some birch wood. This step could also be done with a Cricut and vinyl. Once these are cut, I spray paint them white. I attach these real quick and we are officially done. 